It's 7 a.m. here in Johannesburg, South Africa, and I'm a little nervous because I'm about to go in for my first HIV test. The nearest testing center wasn't in a hospital or in a doctor's office, but on the main concourse of a bustling train station beneath a few portable tents. HIV testing facilities are everywhere, from street corner kiosks to shopping malls. I'll be tested with a rapid test, which looks for antibodies to HIV. So, have you ever tested for HIV before? No. Except no. Never. It's first time. First time? Wow. Is this your questionnaire? Yes. Okay. Tell me about your sex life. My sex life? Us? Um... of two test kits. These two test kits are from two different countries. Why you are putting them being two, you want them to confirm each other. Can they be two different uh, outcomes? Then this one is a terminal, which is going to give us the final results. Can I just ask you something as someone who's a little nervous? Okay. It seems like if this is positive no. and this is negative, yes. my life hangs in the balance on whatever this one is. Yes. But how do we know that this one's accurate when both of these were inaccurate? This one has been tested to be the one that is going to take out the results that are correct. Oh, so this one is more accurate than these two? Yes, according to what we have learned. So why don't we just use the more accurate one to begin with? Well, you know what? This, what if now the more accurate one has a discrepancy, how are you going to find out? I don't know. Always see to our clients. But even if you have tested here, you can go to other centers and go and test and verify your test. You cannot say you're 100%. Because you find clients going from area to area doing tests. And they come with stories that I was negative at a certain area and positive with you. How do they de de decide whether they're positive or negative? We cannot tell because we are using a rapid test. It occurred to me that perhaps the HIV epidemic is reported to be so widespread in South Africa and other poor nations simply because they use these inaccurate tests. Take it easy. I'll pierce at the side. It should be emphasized that most of the developing world uses only screening tests to confirm an HIV diagnosis. There are no confirmatory tests. Time now is 25 past. At 22, the results will be out which is going to be 15 minutes. I have the package insert from the manufacturer which they supplied me with. And under limitations of the test, it states that risk factors should be used in conjunction with the test. Has the person had sex? Uh, have they used drugs? Have they had a blood transfusion? And then in conjunction with the test, not the test alone, but with the test, then you decide whether the person is positive or negative. Did the answers to these questions help aid in the diagnosis? Of course they did. Really? They do. Now, if I tell you that the test you took was lousy and didn't mean a thing, does that make any difference for everybody to hear? It make a difference for me. Yeah, I know. <laughs>